Hello everybody, it's Cold Evo. Uh, we had a poll on our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash Sidewinder Racing, about what do you guys want to see on Forza Motorsport 4? Like, what kind of a painting tutorial would you like to see? So, uh, here is my new, well not the newest design, but pretty new. So, People wanted to know how to make a font like this one, the Sidewinder, or this source dice, Kado. Basically, just font that is different from these that you can find from here. Because when you see hundreds of paints, these are getting boring and they start to look quite bad. Not if you can use them right, but Basically, it's just better to use your own font. Um, it is very simple. Just use this Community Windows 133. I got this idea from Digital Clock while I was replicating a clock on Forza Motorsport 4. Yep, so. Oh. This one, uh, this was a Y button, the orange one, uh, which allows you to stamp and copy. Um, just some people don't know it. Think it's pretty important. So, uh, whoops. So yeah, basically, just make a skewer with this. Try to make it as well as possible. Okay, and then stamp it with the Y button, and it will basically copy. Then just delete the one there and adjust these to the one you had already, like this. Okay, so now you have an eight, basically. Uh, like G digital clock works, you just uh, well this is digital clock basically, and if you want to make a letter like H, you make it like this. Delete one from there. For E, this. Uh, for L. Let's move this one. So basically, just uh, delete all those that are not part of your letter. So, like this. And now the problem is that you have to adjust the text before you create it, because if you have a letter A, for example, like this one, you can just stamp it out there. And then you can change the positions, spin it, skew it, transparency. Everything works just fine. But the, with these, you have to do it all before, like in forehand. So then you must do it like this. It isn't necessary to use this. A specific vinyl, but I find it quite easy, so I'm using it. Of course, there are some letters like K, for example, or S. Well, the S works with most of texts, but yeah, you have to make them like um, separately because they do not work. For example, if I have this, how to make it K? Uh, basically like this I would do so so you have to adjust it like this but this one is skewed one as you can see and if you want to have an outline just put start with this again uh, then just put the uh, Sorry. 
two years of this and I still can't use this properly. Waste of time. <laughs> um, like this. Stamp it. 180. This is per mathematics, basically, for the editor. I sometimes use calculator to make my designs perfect, but that's a bit nerdish. And therefore, I'm not using it usually. Uh, what am I doing? Just doing something strange. Oh, yeah. So, adjust these. Like this. Select all. Stamp it. Make it minus one. So, it will be just uh, rotated. 180 degrees. And you can also just rotate it 180 degrees, but that's slower. So I prefer this way. Like this. Now you have an 8 again. And this works just like the others do. And also this hue effect. I think I had it in one already. Let's use pink, it's manly. From here. White. Come on. Ah, control is broken a bit, so works slowly sometimes. Colors are just to make it easier to see. They don't really matter. Why did I group this? Well yeah. Make it in some color, orange. So yeah, for example, like this. Okay, uh, that's about the tutorial part. Um, some guys want to see some of my de designs that I've been I have made lately so I'll just give you a quick look so if you came just to learn then you don't have to watch this anymore but basically I am starting to make clocks this one is a uh, Sunto Kore black from Finnish uh, clock maker Sunto as you can see there it is very accurate, but I haven't found any use for it yet. This one is quite nice. It's a Pontiac Drifter Solstice with this unsymmetric design. Uh, I started from the hood with the this orange part because I want to make unsymmetric one, so I just put it like that and started making it and then I made this one the orange part here uh, and continued to here then started to add team logos and stuff and now I have all kinds of lines and stuff and this is pretty interesting this paint it has a uh, small flowers that can be only seen from certain angles when the light hits it I don't know if it's a bit girlish but Still, could be worse. Uh, about my other cars, well, yeah. <laughs> this one is for my friend, uh, MC Player 94. He's a Halo fan, so I made a hum hug, which is basically just a hammer in War Thug design with the UNSC, United Space Command stickers and all kinds of stuff. All the logos are replicas from our Halo vehicles like a Warthog, Falcon, Mangus, 
stuff like that. Oh yeah. This is a Sora that I got an idea from Bentley, tuned by someone, I can't remember who, but it's in real life tuned, with those flowers in the bonnets. So I got the idea and started replicating it, and then got bored and made my own design. And yeah, it's Toyota, so I don't have any idea why it doesn't have a a looks recall paint. Oops, wrong button. Uh, this is basically for Shelby Carroll's death. May he rest in peace. Had to buy one. And I did some small modifications, but nothing too much. It looks quite good in stock. This one is failed design. I made something wrong and it looks hideous because it just doesn't work. <laughs> Let's say. The front end and the back end look so different that it doesn't work. Um, from here, well, basically, this is my Volvo. Uh, it is a drifter, it is AVD, I know. Power slide, people call it. But yeah, it's been swapped to 100% rear, but I don't know if it makes any effect, it still feels like it's AVD. Not gonna lie about it. So if you see this one in video, you know it's AVD. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, this one is uh, famous now. I got into a game verb uh, competition about designing a fantasy paint of Forza Horizon which is coming fall and nobody knows much about it I think I'll make some kind of video about all the information we do know but yeah you're gonna have to wait for that but yeah this one won the competition it came into very first position and I am happy about it I could have never imagined I could win with this but yeah, <laughs> that was quite fun. Oh yeah, this is domestic mango design. Yeah, uh, this is old one. <laughs> this is quite a new one. This is still working progress as well, like most of those that I have shown you this far. It's just fantasy paint, basically. This one is for a Ligu Racing, it is used by team member uh, Chaotic Damage, uh, he needed some kind of car, so I designed this one to him. And here are just four upcoming videos. if we are ever gonna use this <laughs> it's not sure so yeah that's about it all I have really nothing else to show well some old designs like a Mad Mike RX-8 or some something like that but I don't own them at the moment I have sent almost every car that I own so I don't have them at the moment I could buy but it would take time and you don't want to wait so thanks for watching if you watched this far and if you happen to like some of those designs in the video contact me I'll try to uh, send you one or put it on storefront for free or or something like that, auction house to give it to you. Uh, unlock it, not usually, but perhaps. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.